Hey there, guitar fam. Paul Oz here once again. I'm doing the Fort Nameless Sweet thing all over again, and I'll tell you why. I actually have a Fortin 33 and Fortin grind pedal, and I thought, what if we turned off the digital version and used the analog version of the pedals that Fortin does with the Nameless Suite to see what it sounds like. What's the difference, mate? My grind inside the DAW is set at one o'clock, and so is my 33. So this is just a typical tone dialed in with the eight string. Now let's turn on the grind inside of the suite. Click a roo. Pretty damn good. The Fort Nameless Suite is fantastic by itself. Click off now. Time for the 33. So uh, it works really well with the 33. It cuts a lot more bass frequencies as the 33. Tightens up this guitar specifically. That's why I'm using my Aristides 080S. So it's a huge, huge difference in tone at the end of the day. The digital version of the grind versus the analog version of the 33, which there is no digital version of the 33. I don't think that they're gonna do that. Sounds really sick, but let's do it grind for grind now. So again, both grinds are set to about one o'clock. That's the tone without the any grind. Again, really, really usable and awesome, but let's click in the digital grind first. Really tightens it up really nicely. I mean, you know, you know what this is. Let's hear the real grind. You know what, personally I like the, the real grind a little bit more. Doesn't cut as much bass frequencies. I feel like the Neural DSP grind has a little bit more of the characteristic of the 33. Maybe it'll sound different in post, but this is how I feel about it in room right now. So you know I'm being genuine. Like that, the response to that, I'm gonna turn up the in room volume here. It's just monstrous sounding. I haven't gotten the 8 string to sound that good on an Axe FX, which is kind of, I mean, I've had it for years and I haven't been able to get it to sound that good. Yeah, I dig this a lot. I dig this a lot, a lot. And I wasn't even a fan of the grind in the first place. Mostly because it just saturated and did things in a way I didn't really like. But on the eighth string, with these uh, Aries to these customs from Bare Knuckle, uh, it works really, 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 really well. 
and it still has that nice pinch harmonic saturation. I mean, it could use a little bit more push, but that might just be the pickups. Or I could just dime the grind. Let's do that. Diming the analog grind, diming the digital grind. I'm not turning on both at the same time, okay? I'm not a lunatic. But let's hear how it sounds. Extremely hairy, as expected when you dime out a pedal that's supposed to do this kind of thing. So, flick off and do this one now. Almost feels like the saturation's a little different. Like, wow, and if I'm saying that, just consider the fact that this is digital versus analog, okay? Crazy. The saturation is just a little bit different. A little bit different is pretty damn good at the end of the day. Neural DSP really knocked it out of the park, man. Fortin did, of course, as well. It's just, this is nuts. This is really, really crazy. The way that the future is going with, with you know, digital plugins and things like that. Again, really expensive DI right now. You know what I mean? That's what it is right now for me. I've been using pedals and things like that. And now this, for the last couple of weeks, I'm perfectly happy with the sound. Tells you something, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna jam a little bit more with this grind at three o'clock, since three o'clock is the next preferred setting that I have for ultra high screamy gain. So we're gonna use digital grind into the analog one. I love that hair, but I wouldn't use it in a recording. That's why we set the pedals a little lower in terms of recording a good clean guitar track. But yeah, I, I wonder how this is gonna sound in post because in person, there's a bit of a better bass response with the analog grind rather than the digital one. But that's about it, man. Really, this is a better, better bass response. I mean, that's really, you know, can be a, a fight or flight for some people. Fight or flight, I don't know. You get the analogy. I help. I think that having a better bass response is great if you want to have a bit more of your tone coming through of your guitar perhaps. I think that the replication of the grind is, is awesome anyway. Like I would try it with this grind and then the other grind and see you know if I'm recording a track that's when I'll be really like picky about exactly what I'm gonna use but I will try this out on a recording uh, in the near future and do some more demos and things like that. Because um, I'm writing a technical death metal record, so I might as well use the gear I've got. Duh! That's what this whole thing is about in the first place, right? So, hope you enjoyed this video, guitar fam. I've been Paul Oz. Subscribe if you liked it. I mean, click that notification bell. It's not that hard to do. I don't post every single day, but I'm trying to post as often as humanly possible. Basically, it, my videos come out around 7 in the morning, West Coast time, usually on like a you know, weekend as well as one or two during the week kind of schedule. So if you enjoyed this and want to see more of this kind of content, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think it works? I think that the digital versus the analog argument is really, you know, it's been overdone a little bit, but I thought that I would throw in my two cents because this is digital and analog and it sounds ferocious. I suppose the last thing I can say about this plugin, I hope I don't do any more of these videos because it's just, it's oversaturated. I don't want to beat this dead horse into, you know, the ground further into volcanic earth mantle style stuff. But like, it's so fun to play with this. It's just so fun. That's, well, that's my fridge. It's just so fun to play with this, this sound. And I hope that those of you who have, you know, purchased the plugin uh, through my videos or through anyone on YouTube, 
has that same experience of at least fun because it might not be a, like a real tube amp, but it, damn is it ever convincing and it totally destroys so many different friggin' digital kind of, anyway, you get the point. It's really, really fun and I hope that I, I've been informative enough with my expressions and with the joy I feel when I play this damn, damn awesome plugin. Anyways, cheers YouTube. See you next time. I've been Paulus.